the stream. I got out the Genesis again. Uh, let's try... Did I put it? Oh yeah, I got a bomb. So, I think the first thing I'll try... Oh, did I press start? Yeah, I pressed start. I'm dumb. I'm dumb! Uh, I think the first thing I'll do is this is the episode right around. I should see if it blew. Probably blew. I did want to try this on real hardware. I probably won't try it very long, though. Seems like it works good. Let's uh Um, I don't know. I got my Mega Everdrive out. I put a bunch I put some different ROMs in it. I'm gonna try out, but I'm open to ideas. I got a bunch of ROMs on this every drive, so I'm willing to take suggestions. Right now, I want to see how Sequel Wars Episode Red plays. Seems like it plays pretty good. Hellfire Saga? Oh, oh, that might be a good suggestion. Okay, did I put that on here? I, I, I did make a directory specifically for Sonic Hacking Contest stuff. Let's see. Wow. It's way on the bottom here. Alright. Hellfire Saga it is. People seem to really like this one. It says it's the full version. I admit I haven't been, uh... Oh, flashing effects. Well, I'm streaming, so I probably should disable the flashing effects. Um, options. Normal. Oh. This, I don't know, cinematic cam, and uh, yeah, but, but whatever. Just leave everything normal for now. Time to press, time to start playing. Here's Sanic. Here's the edgy. Edgy Grim Dark Santa game. Yeah, I, I can see. Spooky. I already lost my shield. I'm such a scrub. Oh! That thing was very dead. Red rings. It was a red ring of death. How did that lyrics go? Uh, guess I'm not getting any chaos emeralds.
I'll play this for a little bit, but I did want to see if I could try multiple games out this stream, so... I'll probably just play a little bit of it, see where it, when it saves, and then continue it later. Oh boy, you can tell this has level design inspired by all those Sonic fan games, which just make the levels really friggin' huge. Here we go, we're finally at the end of the level. Oh, hello, Arthur. Or, not quite Arthur. Arthur. You, you know, you know things are going bad when Arthur is like a zombie, and Sonic's bleeding. Oh, oh gosh, Arthur! No, no, Arthur! Uh, you're asking that question now after you just killed the man? You just killed a man, Sonic! Doesn't seem to be any time limits, so. Alright, so ring, red rings restore my health. Oh, oh great, those things fall. Nice game. Why is that one ring kind of faded there? Is that a visual bug or is something going on there? Oh, bubble shield. Okay, so I guess those faded rings are something intentional. What's this? Uh... Uh... Is the game creepypasta-ing on me? Um... Okay, what was that about? Bacon! Oh man, you should just turn into bacon instead of Gibbs and Gore. Would be way better if he turned into bacon. Oh. Looks like this has that Sonic Advance 2 speed limit break thing. Mmm, pork spare ribs. Yum, yum, yum. Somehow that arrow did not hit me. Alright, the fire shield. Where do I use the player field? Oh, how did I? Oh, what's... Okay, where where am I going? I feel like I'm stuck. Okay, so so don't touch the spikes. Oh, you can climb those like the ones in Sonic Three. Of course, I should have known that.
Sanger, that would not have been helpful advice when I basically went up. Alright, so, ooh, here we go, more spooky. Oh, we got bone drag, we got the little bone dragon here. And, uh, these flying things keep hitting me. And there we go. Took care of that boss. And here's the signposts! Sonic got through stage one. Yay! Farce of Decay, stage two. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like... Oh, okay. Definitely feels like a Sonic fix. This, this feels more like one of those Sonic fan games than a Sonic ROM hack, if you get what I mean. Like, it was definitely inspired by stuff like the before the sequel and whatnot. Um, where am I going? Okay, I think I saw an arrow pointing this way. Oh. Like, I'm going down? going. Ow. I did say this was inspired by those kinds of Sonic fan games, and one of the pet peeves I've had with all of them is that very often you have no idea where you're supposed to go. And I feel like I've been having that problem here, too. Just feeling like I've been hitting dead ends all the time. Having moments where I think I'm going the right way, but oh, nope, 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 that's a dead end. What knocked out my fire shield? wander around and then eventually I hit something that seems like the correct path, but still fairly annoying if you get, you, you know? Oh, that's the climb of the wall. Okay, I should build up speed. That's not enough. Oh. Oh, I see. The game is deliberately subverting its own level design. To mess with my head, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I see. It's doing it on purpose. Uh... You're the final boss of, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, aren't you? You, you seem kind of shrunk, dude. Ow. Ow, uh-oh. There we go. This is pretty boss-heavy, isn't it? Oh, good grief, I'm already at the next boss? Oh no, 
it's that eye from Rondo of Blood, and now he's got a shield! And he reverses gravity! Oh, okay. That's a thing. Oh. Okay, how am I supposed to damage this guy without just face tanking? Okay. That, I guess that's how. Uh, nice job letting me know, game. Okay, let's put the shield up. Now this is kind of annoying, because I'm basically just waiting for him to, uh... Ah. Oh, whatever. Good grief. It has a wider hitbox, and it looks... Time should probably be the choice. There we go, got three hits in. Focus on dodging. Oh, whatever. Oh, okay, so that. Everything home in here? There we go. That took care of that. Alright, stage two. There's a stage three. Okay, that's nice to know. Oh, hello, Cheshire Cat from, uh... Isn't that the one that's from that Batman and Robin game? Kind of weird. Why is Mickey Mouse trying to violently kill me? When's the ball gonna come back? Oh! Oh, you don't wait for the ball to come back.
wish I understood the pattern better. It seems like just when I thought I figured it out. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh, they were too close together. Mickey literally just Goomba stomped me there. That was a dick move. Killed by Mickey Mouse. How awkward. Friggin' Mickey Mouse. Don't give me so much Mickey Mouse to work to deal with. The other stuff is easier. There we go, there's Mickey. There we go. Oh, the ball's coming from this side now? Like that's the boss. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Stage free. I assume that's the end of the zone. Sin City. Ah, very punny. So hold on, does this. So if I exit. Alright, it gives me the option to continue. 
And that's in the city. Okay, here we go. All right, that's good. That's good. That means I can move on to... That means it's saved. I can move on to something else. Uh, all right. If you want me to play more of that, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll play it on my next stream. We've got a lot of other crappy Sonic ROM hacks in here as well. Well, I mean, let's see. I don't think any Sega Channel Revival ROMs worked on my setup. Uh, I got I got a bunch of menu demos. Yeah, Hellfire Saga is like I, I think. Yeah, can tell me how it is. I wouldn't be surprised if people consider it one of the best Sonic ROM hacks now. Like it does seem like it went all out. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah, these are some of that unlicensed Russian stuff. Although, Mad Stalker is a game that I specifically got from uh, digging up the Japanese aftermarket. Mega Drive Mini ROMs. Oh, these are all zips. Does Darius boot on here? No, no, the crash rom's disappointing. The crash rom's disappointing. Don't, don't, don't bother with the crash rom. Oh, Darius boots on here. That's nice to know. So this is the Darius rom that is in the uh, Genesis Mini. Yeah, yeah, that's how we got the U.S. version of Wily Wars. It's got a new version of Tetris, and it's got this version of Darius. Oh good, I actually got a thing. Though I'm sucking slightly less at the game. And uh, never mind, I'm sucking just as much. I'm not getting it anywhere in this. Boom. Oh yeah, GG LS3, that's been dumped. Uh, see now, the problem with me trying to boot that is that first it need to be hacked into a Master System ROM, and then I need to take it and get rid of my 32X. Not exactly ideal. thing is, but I got it. I got another thing. Ow. I got, I got, my thing got hit. My thing keeps getting hit. Oh no. It is shrunken. It is gone. I'm probably gonna die. Can't even touch a damn wall. I hate shmups. No, that's just me vending, really. I suck at shmups, so I'm bad. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Have I ever shown you guys what the Sega Channel menu demos look like on here? I could show you that. Here's a here's the Canadian one. Imagine you're you're in Canada and you're playing Sega Champ. And then you want to play the test drive of uh what's a good test drive idea of Vector Man. All right, we're going to pretend we're downloading Vector Man. You're only allowed 20 minutes of uninterrupted play.
And if I press star, I the messages rotate. Alright. But yeah, that shows you then. Sega Channel menu demo ROMs. But not the, all of those Sega Channel Revival homebrew projects. Uh, what question was it? Uh, the last message I got from you was about GG Alest Free. Oh yeah, here was a here was that Yu Yu Hakusho build that came with the Sega Channel stuff. Did I load the wrong file? I probably did. Uh, that's what I get for uh, unsorted files. Oh yeah, that's region protected anyway, so I probably wouldn't be able to play it. Why'd I bother with that? I could double check it to see if the region protection works on there. files and then time worn oh that's interesting open uh, demo cart oh did I not put in the uh I'm guessing I didn't put in the, uh, Primal Rage promos. Primal Rage stuff. That's kind of a dumb of me. Oh, Retroarch, I see. I put in... Oh, these Protos aren't the ones that I was getting into. Where are they? I don't think I put in that uh, Mag Sagapede, did I? No, I don't think I put in Sagapede. Sagapede and Akira probably would have been interesting ideas to goof around with. But, uh, I got a kind of confusing proto directory here. Very confusing. I didn't even put in that Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition Proto. Man, I'm behind. It's kind of weird that this is an old... Like, a lot of these ROMs are from an old database, so it really needs updating. You know what, people really hype up, like, color enhancements. I wonder if they're actually any good. Like, people will hype up stuff like Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition Arcade Edition. And, like, it's mostly just color enhancements and a few minor tile hacks. And, like, from my perspective, I was like, 
you know, for all... Oh my gosh, that blue is eye-searing. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like... I feel like maybe... I feel like maybe the love of... Uh, yeah, if this wasn't really designed with CR with the old composite signal in mind. Uh Yeah. Uh let's switch let's switch. Perfect. A lot of these people seem to forget that some people want to play their stuff on real hardware on an old setup. Anyway, here's fan, the fan translations directory. This probably also seriously needs to be updated. I'm pretty sure there's been quite a few fan translations that I don't have on here. In theory, I could just bum rush through, like, upstairs and go get some... Some work done there off the... right there, but... Oh, hey, this one, this one just boots. I guess the region, the region protection was disabled on this one. Probably was, yeah, it was probably disabled. Yep, the what strategy in this game is to just charge forward and mash and be aggressive. Yep. A Sega CD game got a good fan translation lately. Yeah, this wasn't really designed like a like a like a Street Fighter type game. Like, like it feels kind of more like a like if you played Guardian Heroes on the Saturn, it feels kind of like that. Totally not Goku. Nope. I think I 
I saw the translation of the Dragon Ball Z fighting game on Genesis here, too, on Mega Drive here, too. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Oh, I can configure the controls in the middle of in the middle of the damn campaign mode. I I didn't even realize that. Get your butt kicked by Chew of all people. Come on now. Really? Chew's already done like more damage than me than any of the other opponents. Configure control screen like that seems like that'd be pretty useful in like an Avo tournament setting. You know, like, like maybe this maybe this actually had a tournament at some point, and people found out who the most busted character on competitive multiplayer was.
Oh, anyway, yeah, there we go. Let's switch games up. What else was in the fan translation directory? Or Nadia. Got some retranslations of her games. Bioblade, Pulse Man, Rent a Hero. Rent a Hero would be an interesting one. The Twisted Tale. I don't know what Pyron Enhanced means. Vixen 257. Dino Brothers. Hybrid front translation? I don't know about that one. I need to check on it. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with it myself. Intros and demos. Sonic Team Rotching. Like, seriously? That's the name of a demo scene? Uh, why would they have a name so close to a modern Sonic game? Oh, uh, 32X Doom? I could check to see if it's in the 32X directory. Where is my 32 extra? Here it is. Oh, Genesis Doom. Uh. I guess that's a homebrew. I got. I know a 32 X Doom, but here's 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 the Doom. Doom RR with homebrew beta hack. Doom 24 expansion and an um Wolfenstein 3D. Let's see. Game Boy. Why are we? Why are we asking about Game Boy? Uh, I assume I don't think there's a Game Boy emulator, if that's what you mean. So, wait—is that Super Mario Bros. port on here? I see it. Demos, it's probably not probably not what you'd think it'd be. Ooh, 
Boo Boy Game Boy emulator. Um, it's not booting into anything. I guess I could Google it to see if this actually does anything. Boo Boy 32X. If Fuboy Fuego 32X Weaver, not what I wanted, is it? I don't think that's. Yeah, I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I have no idea if it's even real or not. Uh, what I pr oh I didn't want to press start. Totally did not want to press start. Brazilian game list. <laughs> Robert Cop. I'm a bit confused what you uh you mean like the like Robocop or I mean Here's Robocop 3, Robocop vs. the Terminator. Uh... Oh, a homebrew. I'm definitely missing a lot of shit. I'm this doesn't really taught me anything because I'm missing a lot of shit. Yeah. The thing is, I just very recently got back a got an ST at that card adapter for my damn stuff, and then I just moved all the Genesis rounds to one SD card, and I went to try it out, and now it's like, oh geez, I'm missing all these ROMs that I need. Spin. Oh, here's the Final Fight MD demo. I could try that.
Life on Mars. Oh boy. Yeah. This text is a bit hard to read. Let's pick the chum, the, the, the chummy, the chum loser difficulty level. Oh, wow. Extended game for standard console. What's that mean? Anyway, let's, uh, Arcade, Survivor, and Time Attack. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen, I've seen footage of that, too. Yeah. Alright, let's beat Cody, I guess. It feels like this is running a bit slow. Okay, it seems to be running a bit better now. It seemed like the intro was running a bit slow. I guess they wanted to, they wanted to make they wanted to accuracy on the cinematic over performance. I kept it as 30 FPS. Also, that seemed like that was a bit lower than 30 FPS. Yeah, there is some slowdown. Oh, the sword. Boom. If I set it to 30 FPS and it was still slowing down like that, that'd probably be a bit of a problem. You know what I mean? Why'd he just do a backflip like that for the cinematic? That was a bit silly. Ooh, the big meat. Ooh, I got a knife. Knife! I'm afraid to use it! Yeah! I stabbed you! Oh! There's damned. There's that damned damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, toss him. Oh, all right. Now he's bringing some posse out. All right. Just got a big health bar. Boom. We ain't using them Nintendo names. His name is Damned.
toss. And he down. No, Thrasher is the name that Nintendo pushed upon me. Oh. Okay. Looks like we're on the next stage. Oh, here's Poison. She's po All them girls got to be in the game. There's no censorship issues from Nintendo. Alright, I, I got a... I got a... I... Um... Hello, Andre Jr. Allow me to hit you with the pipe. Andore, the totally not an XP of a WWF guy. I'm surprised this demo goes for two levels. Pretty elaborate demo in that regard. Definitely tell this part's pushing the limits. Alright. Nice. Yeah, that that's 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 game slowdown. That is game slowdown. That is not the th 30 FPS setting. The game is actually slowing down when there's too many of these barrels on screen. The barrels push the limits. The barrels really push the limits. I need to practice using the super joys more. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
There. Oh, what? Did you see him? Did you see him go out, go out of the ring for a moment there? You guys see that? Oh boy, we get to beat up the car! Yeah, the transition is kind of weird. I think the I oh, uh, that's a graphical bug. 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 Oh, that's the end of the demo. Yeah, that, we kind of just broke your second chances there. Sorry, dude. We, we, and thanks for enjoying the demo. Hopefully our next demo won't utterly wreck your game console. <laughs> but yeah, oh my car, indeed. Rip blast processing. So true. Like, it's clear this is trying to go above and beyond what even the Sega CD version did. And it's very questionable if the Genesis can handle it, can really handle it. I think the Sega CD version did have some slowdown as well, didn't it? Something like that. Anyway, that was an interesting... Demo to try. <laughs> Maybe some point I should try. Well, I probably shouldn't be burning any more CDRs, considering how that's going with my PC Engine CD. Who knows how my Sega CD will react to that? The only CDRs I put on that were for Sonic Mega Mix. And, uh,. And the prototype of Sonic CD with the Japanese soundtrack. Those seemed like they ran okay, but now I'm all, like, nervous about CDRs. Uh, what else was, uh... Notable on the, uh... Mini. Well, there's Wily... There's Wily Wars. Uh, what was it? Super Fantasy Zone? You gotta assemble the Megazord. Yeah. Yeah, totes. Uh, Fantasy Zone was basically just a, uh, version of Fantasy Zone, right? Oh, the shop. That saves me. Arch Shop. One of these was not was not temporary again. I forget. 
Uh, let's just say exit. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, okay. You just formed right in the center of the screen before I really understood what was happening. That's that's nice game. That's nice game. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna uh, uh, okay. Uh, where'd you go? Oh there you are. Pumpkin sure likes turning into a rainbow of colors. I beat a level! Yay! Now I'm gonna like... Okay, let's see. Oh gosh, these things are... Get in At least I keep the other one. Exit. Right. Right. All right. Then I died right away, so I lost it. <laughs> okay. Uh, enough of that for now. Extra man, ha <laughs> ha, funny. Do I have anything else? I yeah, I really need. I really need uh stuff. Put in this. Oh, why did I put this in the homebrew directory? This isn't a homebrew, this is like an unreleased game proto, I think. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, pop that. 
later on. Why is Sonic and Crackers here? I don't have a lot of the Furry 2X Protos in here either. There's a lot of ROMs I could be putting in this that I haven't yet. Like, really, there's a whole lot. Makes me wonder what the heck I'm doing. What am I doing with my Genesis here? Know what I mean? For one of them one level Sonic demos. Oh dang it, I hit start again! That's what I get when I have too many Everdrives and they all work different ways. Alright, yeah, let's try some different Sonic demos and see how they go. Oh, did this one just. Okay, this one. Yeah, this one's for a moment I thought it made a made a broke. This is that demo with the super buttery animation. Well, I feel like it's a bit buggier on hardware though. Let's see. Bit buggier, but it seems like it's still around. This is, I think it's just called Pana. I'm not really... Like, I'm not really good with the names of all the hacks. Like... Like, there's a lot of Sonic hacks. So, like... Going sword and fruit them all can be a huge pain. Did it that way. Yes, I. What? Oh, that's just a bottomless pit. Lame. 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 Oh gosh, I'm way back before the environment change. Lame.
But yeah, I remember this being more like in my lane and then, uh. Than being a full fledged game. So this should be short. Really? Die from touching a spike like that? Game. Game. What? I didn't... How did I not touch that ring? That's bullshit. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. Anyway, I think that was just like a one-act demo. Like, one-level demo anyway, so whatever. We were near the end. Not, not really... Gonna go out of my way to play Fruities seriously. Sure is in this. <laughs> okay, not dealing with that today. Not dealing with that today. What's the idea of the... Okay, never mind this hack. I'm not gonna... Spending a while trying to figure out what the heck's going on. This is why I need a fil... This is why people need filters for all the Sonic ROM hacks. Very difficult to sort the quality ones from the stuff that barely change anything.
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Curse Sonic Ram Hacks. Oh, I remember Burned Edition being kind of amusing. Like, or at least like having an interesting gimmick. Pretty sure the original one has a story setup. The final one has like a story setup where you actually see Green Hill go on fire. It's not quite Kaizo. At least I don't remember it being Kaizo. Maybe, or maybe, maybe the one, maybe the f one that's the more final one isn't Kaizo. That was kind of dumb. Okay. Sometimes I'm not sure if I have the correct editions of certain games. I really... Someone should really just keep a Champion Edition set for Sonic ROM hacks. Because I remember Burn Edition having more cutscenes to it. You know? Like, maybe, maybe I have some of the wrong versions of games on here. Because it's, like, it's very hard to follow on archive.org. Because it's like all of them are uploaded at the same time. Huh. Uh, let's just play the bad Apple demo <laughs> while I try to think. Okay, that's pretty elaborate instructions for a demo. See if the pause unpause. Oh, I can change the palette. Look at the palette changing. Oh, better not overdo it. Let's speed up, slow down. So, no. Okay, that, that's kind of neat. Let's have it go fast. That's slow. Yeah. Anything? Oh yeah, pauses. <laughs> yeah, this would be a pretty impressive demo, except people ported Bad Apple to everything. So, I feel like it kind of lost the uh, effect. 
You know, and, and also this needs to be split in two parts. What gives? Why would you need to split Bad Apple into two parts? I'm pretty sure the NES one was able to cram them all into one part. Bad Apple in Doom. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's possible. Bad Apple in Doom on your toaster. It's Sega Demo Free by Sane Sword. I don't know what that is. Magical Christmas Greetings. No, that probably has a dead Santa or something, knowing how these are. Oh, Monster Sega Everdrive Inc. <sighs> I'm not get okay. I, I think I need to address a thing. I feel like I'm not getting enough. I'm not getting any viewers on Kick lately, and I'm kind of worried about that. I've been streaming. I tried switching things up from from PC Engine in case PC Engine wasn't getting an audience, but I guess I guess the Genesis hacks, the Mega Drive hacks, aren't really aren't really cutting it either. Uh, what is the bare knuckle demo intro anyway? Let's see what this is. Um, uh, it's literally a scene demo intro. Wow. That's a thing. Hong, the console masters. Should have seen that coming. But yeah, I think I need to figure out how to get more attention on my kick channel because at this rate, I probably won't be getting paid subs. Hmm. Uh... Probably need a network with someone there, but I, you know, I did some effort with that. I guess it has isn't enough just yet. But thing is, like, I, I kind of feel like I should try to figure out who I can network with. That you know, maybe at some point I could do like watch parties where we could react to stuff together. Would be, huh. I apologize if I'm a bit rambly. It's getting late here. I'm an uh, hour, 35 minutes into the stream, so... Yeah, me, you share. I can share with them all my Korean Super Mario Super Show stuff, and they'd be like, what the hell is this shit? Am I right? Am I right? Is there anything in the Brazilian Christian methods? Oh, let's try booting up the MegaNet program. <laughs> I could actually boot it up here. That's funny. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to get out of here. This is bad. This is bad. Tech Toy News. Internet. 
That does insufficient as far as rivers are connected. In this stuff. Yeah, it is basic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't really do much on this. <laughs> you know, it would be nice to have those, those, uh, those hacks of the, of the Sega Master System games from, uh, SPT Play Game. Then you'd, then you'd, like, uh, you know... Then you'd like throw yourself on a camera and then like put it on the screen and then you'd pretend you're in the game. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, that's annoying. There's even there's more Sonic hacks scattered around. Two, more Sonic hacks. Why is there? Why do I have NES Samari ROMs in here? Oh, do I have the? Do I have the Pokemon Stadium game? The unlicensed Pokemon Stadium. Mario. Oh, that that's probably a that's probably an NES rub. Oh gosh. Game five. Wait, Double Dragon is unlicensed. Why is Double Dragon unlicensed? Why is Double Dragon considered an unlicensed game? A Sega Channel port into Mega Net. That'd be pretty funny. I mean, it's a pretty. I mean, it's it's a pretty janky port of Double Dragon, but I'm not sure. Why do my, uh, look, my uppercuts are just not working? It's very dumb. So I'm like practically all the way on the far right of the screen before the screen starts scrolling. It's very dumb. It's the U.S. Gold port. I mean, U.S. Gold usually licenses their shit, so... Oh, here's Action 52, by the way. Angry Birds Star Wars. Bible Adventures. Bomb Boy Taiwan. Tekken Free Special. <laughs> Look at your Bubble Bobble MD Everdrive Fix. Super Donkey Kong 99. 
Super Mario 2, 1998, Super Mario Bros. On, was this the one? That was the, oh, decode body error. Well, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I'm not going to investigate it any further. Decode body error. Oh yeah, the Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. Let's see if the let's see that was Mortal Kombat Gold Two Thousand, wasn't it? Where is it? Is that here? MK Five. Oh crap! I don't think it's all on here. Magnetic. I'm missing so much shit. I am missing so much good shit. Why is Time Tracks prototype in the unlicensed section? Oh man, this stuff's annoying. Everything's unorganized or organized wrong. I should probably like, like the only thing that's keeping me from like doing the whole thing over is that that would basically require me to uh you know, delete every ROM that's on there and then re put in every ROM that's on there. Not exactly something that I want to do. Two forty P test suite. Hmm. Like cup. There's time tracks again. Why, why did I have two copies of time tracks in different directions? Man, I'm so annoyed with myself with how badly this is arranged. I am so annoyed with myself with how badly this is arranged. Uh, let's just play some Mad Stalker. So I got something playing. Ugh. Full Metal Core. It's English. English is very English. Stalker is one of those games where the PC engine version costs stupidly high amounts of money. Like if you wanna, if you like, if you ever decide you want to play this game, like buy an actual copy. Probably the best way to do it is uh, to get to get the Mega Drive version.
Magro Ganado was? Maybe that does look like an XXAK version of it, I don't know. I think there is an XXAK version of this game, but... You know... I don't exactly have a, a full Japanese computer, so I'm not exactly jumping to see if, uh... You know... See if there's a particular version of the game or... Ah, uh, the tank game. Get it? I'm out of practice. I'm out of dude. Ah. Anyway. Yeah. I think I don't have any gaming mojo tonight. Like I feel like something's just wrong with my ability to game mojo. tonight. It doesn't really look like there's much activity going on in the chat anyway. Uh, there were more people in the chat when I was playing Hellfire Saga. Maybe I should continue Hellfire Saga a bit later. What do you think? Anyway, thank you for coming in, Sanger. Uh, what else did I see? Chronicle was here earlier. Is that really all that was here tonight? Uh, okay. I think I see, uh, No, that was that was Nintendo Boys from yesterday. Oh wow, was that really just Sanger and Sonic Cool tonight? Oh, this is depressing. That's pro yeah, yeah, it's definitely depressing. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I think I probably need to stop streaming for a bit just so I can cope. Ah, uh, I guess Sunday nights are not really a sh not really a way to get an audience. I don't know. Anyway, uh, again, if people want me to continue playing Hellfire Saga, let me know. I'll be thinking of other things to stream in the meantime, and I'll be collecting more PC Engine games. Oh, I got a bit of a story regarding that before I sign off, actually. I've been struggling to get new controllers for my PC Engine. The prices are mostly rather ex extortionist but for some reason there was a horry fighting stick multi on yahoo japan auctions that had a starting bid of 1500 yen that nobody else bid on so uh go fig go fig anyway see you all later